Volunteers are here from the Jefferson Center for Mental Health this afternoon for a senior source line nine. They can answer questions about depression, anxiety, and other mental health challenges. 303-698-0999. Lines are open until 530. Prince Harry and Prince William have recently been receiving accolades for openly talking about grief. 20 years after the death of their mother, Princess Diana, both men have been speaking about the impact it had on them as children and now as adults. Nancy Sharp is an author and speaker. She has experienced all sides of loss and recently finished this book because the sky is everywhere. And we're going to talk a little bit about grief, but this comes from real life for you. It does, actually. So the very title of the book stems from a conversation that my three-year-old twins had shortly after their dad died. We were driving in the car, and of course they were so little, you know, they had no concept of where he was. They thought he might be hiding. And so one day we were driving by a cemetery. This was not where their dad was buried, but my daughter asked if that's where he was. And her twin brother Casey said, no, Rebecca, daddy's in the sky. Mm. And I thought, I remember just gripping the steering wheel and thinking, wow, where did he come up with that one? And Rebecca asked, is the sky back that way, mama? Meaning New York City, where we lived at the time. And Casey said, no, Rebecca, the sky is everywhere. And I thought that that was such a powerful, beautiful, reassuring way to render love and that even mm -hmm. though a loved one dies, that love you feel can still be everlasting. And even at three years old, that's what they were doing. And that's the thing. I mean, we talk about when there's little ones or even when they're eight, nine, ten years old or even a teenager, Older. this shapes your life. I mean, we're looking at your <laughs> twins right now. I can't imagine yeah. how difficult for the surviving parent in your case because you're grieving and right. then you're offering them. Right. Right. And it you're was, trying to comfort them. It was very challenging. And, you know, at the time, there was very little literature there for out there about, you know, families like yes. ours. And they, you know, a lot of the books for early readers, they portray grief through animals and through uh -huh. inanimate objects. And my kids could not relate to that, quite frankly. They really wanted to read about real families or at least other kids like themselves. So I think this is really an opportunity for parents, for educators, for, for, for professionals, excuse me, to you know, provide resources so that these conversations can really come out into the open more. You know, I, I have to ask you, as somebody like, you know, if this happens in your neighborhood, your school, whatever, yeah. we all struggle with the words. What yeah. would you have wanted to hear from people? Would you have rather people just asked you directly or asked your kids directly, how are you doing? I bet you miss your daddy. Or what, what would you want? I think so, because yeah. a lot of people hide behind it, and people don't want to talk about it because they think it's going to be upsetting. Yes. But it's really, in my experience, it is much better to be open with it and to be comfortable because there's nothing shameful about no. losing. I mean, loss is universal, but so too is hope. Yes. And love is so universal and that is stronger and bolder and more powerful than loss any day. And we lose friends and grandparents and right. pets and, and siblings and loved ones and it's just pervasive. So And your story has a really happy ending it does for have those a, it that does do have a know. Nice ending. And an interesting ending because um, Steve, your husband, his longtime TV journalist yes. in this area, yes. also lost his wife. He did. And their and boys then, were ten and eleven yeah. when uh, Pamela died and you know, really, really, really rough ages for them. And so we blended our families. We've been married now nine years, and you know we know what it's like to have experienced loss on both sides, and it never goes away. It's always there, but you know we focus on the love and living today because that's what Brett, my first husband, and Pam would have wanted. Yeah, uh, for us. You honor their lives by doing that. We honor their lives by moving forward and by loving fully. It's bilingual, this book as well. It is. And um, and I, we're going to do something on our website that Thank you're you. making available to schools and other groups. And, and I know if you want to speak. It can, it can even be custom printed. Uh, so for organizations that might have an interest in you know personalizing the book for the children and families that they serve, I would love to talk to them about that because it's really meant to be a resource. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. for showing us the light, if you will. I Thank mean, there you. are many, many dark days, and we all have those days. We all have but them. But you got to look so, to the hopeful days absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Because the sky is everywhere.
Thank you, Nancy. Thank Ryan. you. Ryan. No, thanks for sharing your story, Nancy. It's really wonderful. Appreciate it.